Hello and uh, welcome. Today I'm going to be looking at the uh, this today. It's a Peltier a DIY thermoelectric Peltier refrigeration cooling system kit semiconductor K8W1. Now I'm going to be looking at this um, because I've been looking for ideas of cooling down my shed. So I found this online and I've never seen anything like this before, I've never looked into this sort of technology or anything like that. So I found it and I, I bought one immediately. Uh, as you can see I bought it for £10.35. Uh, it comes as a kit so you've got all the parts that you need to build it. It also comes on this eBay listing, if you can find the eBay listing. The seller is Fanscon, F-A-N-S-C-O-N. Um, so I bought it from him, this person, and on the listing there are also instructions on how to put it together because, as I say, I'd never dealt with this before so I, I didn't know exactly what I was doing. It's really simple, really easy, um, but it's just nice to have the instructions as well. Uh, yeah, as I said, it, it comes with all the parts, so you just put it together and then you get this. Except for on this one, I've changed this end fan to make this fan a little bit bigger to push out more more cold air um, which you don't really need to do but I did it just because I, I wanted to uh, so yeah uh, the reason I'm looking at this is because I want to as I said I want to look at cooling my shed down in the summer a bit more uh, the only issue that I found is that with my 12 volt system which is on a solar panel I have a 100 watt solar panel and a 120 amp hour uh, lead acid battery so unfortunately these will actually drag down your uh, power very very quickly and it will eat it straight away I've had to come up with different ideas of maybe cooling my shed because if I was to get like five of these this would destroy my you know it, it would use so much power that it would be unbearable <laughs> So I've come up with a different idea. So I have come up with the idea of this, using this one. This is the same, except for it has eight chips, so eight times the amount of power, basically. So it says here it is a 567 watt device uh, with cooling tanks on the top and the bottom, and with a fan on the end, where it goes in one end, it comes out the other. Now. You might be thinking, well, that's way worse than, you know, having five single devices. Yes, but I'm going to cheat. I'm not going to use my solar system to power it. I'm going to use one of these. This is a, what they call a, a petrol suitcase. So I'm going to use one of these. Now, these are uh, the cheapest one I could find, which is £200, because I don't want a super expensive one just to run you know, some air conditioning, or in the future, in the winter, heating. So I'm going to buy one of these, see how it works. Might even get a diesel version instead, actually. Um, I don't know if they do diesel versions, I haven't had a look, but I know they do petrol versions. So I'm going to use that to basically power it. Um, and then, as for, go back to this page, the, as I said, this is water-cooled, instead of just being... Uh, fan cooled. This is water cooled, uh, no heat sinks, it's just a basically a, a water heat sink placed on top the four chips on the top and the bottom and then you've got two little pipes that come out either end that you can connect to I don't know uh, a, a water sump or like a, a radiator and now that's my idea. What I'm going to do is I know somebody who has a spare car radiator you know the normal radiator that you'd have in a car in the front of a car and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put affix that to the outside of my shed and then I'm going to just run pipes to this with a little water, water pump in between uh, so that it can cool it down hopefully that'll be enough if it's not then I'll have to rethink and try something else um, but yeah uh, I'll go on to the device Oh, actually, before I do that, if anybody knows of any other technology that can cool down sheds or anything like that, please let me down in the comments. Same with um, heating as well. If anybody knows any ideas for heating, then please leave them down in the comments below. 
Um, I will do another video on how I'm going to heat my shed, but for now I'm going to keep it to cooling. So I'm going to show you this. This is the actual device that I had to put together. The Peltier is in between these two heat sinks here, so in between this foam. You've got a giant heat sink for the heating side, uh, well not the heating, but the, the the hot side where it's pushing out heat this side so you've got to pull the heat away using this fan and then this is the cold side I will show it running in a minute this is the cold side here with a fan on the outside now I did have somewhere the original fan uh, okay. yeah that's it whoops so this was the original fan you can see why I've changed it because you know uh, this is <laughs> tiny compared to this fan so I uh, swapped it around and basically just glued this into place um, as you can see I've just glued it into place just there like you know uh, just because I wanted it to pull off a little bit more cold air now I will set this to one side just there and I will put that just there this is this black wire here it's inside the heat sink so that you can see how cold it does actually get now I will go and turn on the power, plug it in. Okay, so after two and a half minutes of it running, it's managed to bring it down from 20, I think it was 24 degrees or 23 degrees when we started, and now it's gone down to 14.5 degrees, which isn't massive. This shed is quite hot, obviously being 24, 25 degrees at the moment. Um, but obviously if you were to have the heat sink a hot heat sink on the outside where it's cold or, or cooler then this side would, the refrigeration side would get a lot cooler as well um, as you can see I'm only running it on 8 volts uh, not the full 12 volts because of voltage drop in the cable that I'm using um, so it's not running technically a full power so uh, which I do need to sort my shed out for voltage drop because I have a load of small wires that are incapable of running at full power basically uh, so yeah I just wanted to show you this uh, in this kit basically what you've got is a large fan connected to a large heat sink which uh, expels the heat from the Peltier in the middle there's a little device where these two red and black wires are going uh, in between this foam bit then you've got the hot side uh, the hot side sorry the cold side of the Peltier with a heat sink on top which is quite cold to the touch and then on top of that I've got a, uh, a smaller fan but larger than the one that I got with the kit uh, there was nothing wrong with the fan I just you know wanted it to put out a bit more air than it was so I've got quite a nice cool breeze coming off of that at the moment uh, so that's what I wanted to show you uh, thank you for watching any questions leave them down in the comments below and I'll try and get back to you either by comment or try making a video to cover these questions and you know any suggestions on things that I can look at uh, as in to cool my heat, heat down in my shed or to even heat up my shed like such as diesel peters or, or other things like that or any other power supplies that you can think of please let me know in the comments below uh, Hopefully you liked the video, if you did please like it down below, that really really does help me out. And if you do like my channel then please subscribe, I try to put out uh, videos every now and again as I can. Uh, thank you for watching and ta -ra.